Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I am going to talk to you guys about components. Now I want to say if you ever read the documentation about components, holy crap, they try to make it as confusing as possible. But I promise, components are super, super easy to understand. And right now, we actually have one component. This is it. the easiest one to understand ever. And if you want to check it out, go to app ts app.component.ts. All right, so what the heck is a component? So your Angular project and all of the projects you ever make using Angular, they're gonna be made up of these things called components, which are basically the core building blocks of your application. Now in simple terms, all they are are just part of your website. So right now, all this component is, is a plain old title. Of course, later on you may want to make some ones that you know are a little bit more complicated like i don't know a video player component or a chat box component but for right now we just have a really basic one now another thing i want to mention is that components or parts of your website can be made up of other components so let's say that you're making this component that was like i don't know like a chat messaging feature kind of like facebook's so that would be your component. It would also be composed of like a buddy list and the main messaging window and maybe um, like the messaging form at the bottom where you type in. So all of these different pieces make up this bigger thing. In other words, all of these smaller components make up a bigger component. So again, whenever I say component, I'm just saying part of your website. So that's basically a component of your website. All right, sounds simple enough. So how do you make these? Well, the first thing that we did in this example is we had this import statement. So this import statement, all we're doing right here is we're actually importing it from one of the packages that we download, the main Angular package, and this component uh, keyword right here, this just says, hey, we're gonna be making components, so that's why we need to import that. Now, this next thing right here, this at component, this is actually a decorator and all this is, is essentially saying, hey, you know this class right here? This isn't just a normal TypeScript class. This is actually an Angular component. In other words, it's gonna be a part of our website that we're gonna be able to stick into our HTML later on. So it's pretty much just information making this regular class a component. So we already see that it comes with some basic information that we have to fill out. This first thing is the selector. So a selector of a component, all this is, is the tag name. So whenever we make this component, of course, we need to include it in our HTML file. So we include things in HTML files using tags. Right here, we use a title tag. Right here, we use a link. Um, right here, we use the body, the div, whatever. So you see this one, my app. Wait a minute, I'm not familiar with that one. Well, that's because we made our own custom component or part and we gave it a name. So that's what the selector is. Basically, you can name it anything and then whenever you include it, you just name your tags, those things, and it knows, all right, that references this component. And you can actually name it whatever you want. If you want to name it tuna fish, check it out. Then you could switch your tags to tuna fish and there you go. It's going to work fine. And actually, let me change that back to my app because, I don't know, I just think tuna fish might be a little bit confusing to understand. And all right. So the next piece of the puzzle is this template right here. Now, a template is just the actual code that displays inside our component. So basically, we already know that whenever we write my app, that this means, all right, put my component right here. Now the code that you want to go in between here is just whatever you have in your template. So right now we just have a heading one that says Angular to Bucky, but let me just write like I am inside the component. And now let me go back to here and check it out. So once it loads, I'm gonna go ahead and inspect it and look what's happening. So this is the my app tag in other words, our component, now inside these tags, we have our template. So again, whenever we make a component, we give it a name, and that is just the selector, 
and we just set this equal to my app. Now the template, we can set equal to whatever we want and I just made this a simple heading one tag. So I mean, again, components are super easy. Now the last line of code we have in this file is this export class right here. Now this component is like the dumbest component I could possibly think of. Later on, we're gonna be making components that are kind of useful. So let's say that we were writing some blog application or like a news article application. Of course, if our component was a news article, it would have a title, an author, and some content. So then in our class, we would actually make a variable for title and set equal to whatever the title was. The author could be something different and the content would be something different. It's basically like a blueprint for your component. So actually, if I wanna make a simple title variable in here, then I could do that and then set this equal to it. But again, that's all it is. So right now, I have a pretty stupid component, but that's what it is. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is this export keyword right here. Whenever you have this export keyword, what you're saying is this component is public. In other words, it can be included in other places in our application. So this isn't just a normal TypeScript class. We can actually use this component elsewhere. Now it's important to have this because whenever we start making smaller components and putting them together in a bigger component, then it's important to not forget that keyword so that's what this is. So again, just to recap one last time, whenever we are making Angular 2 projects, they're gonna be made up of different parts called components. So in order to use a component, you basically make a class, which is gonna be more complicated than this, most of the time, and we need to give it a selector name, so that way whenever we include it in our HTML, it knows that these tags reference this component, and whatever code you have as your template, this is the code that's gonna appear in between right here. Now, one thing I wanna mention, I say one thing, this is like the 70th thing I'm gonna mention in this video, but you see this information right in between here by default, you don't even need this, this is optional, but as your website's loading for the first time, before it loads in all of this code right here, then this is just the code that gets displayed to the user. So they're usually only gonna see this for like maybe a second or two, but if you just want to have a little loading or I don't know, like uh, waiting to load or anything you want in there, then they know that something's going on and they just don't see a blank screen and aren't freaking out for like a second or two. So again, that's what components are, basic building blocks of your application, boom roasted easy enough.